Hello there and welcome back. This is the uh, video regarding the ICOM IC756 Pro series or Pro 2, the one I'm using and you probably may have seen in video one I did that um, the changeover from the CCFL tube to the LEDs. That is a video one. In that circuit, in that video, we changed those LEDs and we also fit a circuit for the adjustment of preset brightness for the the regulator to regulate the 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 current or the voltage to the the LEDs. Moved on from that, we did another video, video two, which gave us an adjustment which we could use the existing display menu, the LED screen backlight adjustment. We could use that running from the internal circuitry. The only thing was on that the adjustment wasn't a great deal. It dimmed it down and it brightened it up a bit but apart from that it wasn't ideal. What I've done in this video, which is video three of this, it's hopefully the final, I've put together a circuit dedicated just for adjusting this screen. It's a little bit more involved, a little lot am involved the circuit now it will adjust it from it tracks the the voltage of the adjustment it adjusts the the transistor in that circuit and keeps it tracking so we can adjust it a preset we can set it up so it adjusts completely off and full brightness as high as it goes um, on the internal adjustment we preset it up, then we've got the on-screen adjustment which takes us to full range. Okay, at the moment I'm just doing some more research on trying to put a circuit together to give me a wider range on this display. Uh, you can see I've connected up, I've built a little circuit, I'll tell you more in a minute, that's all on a breadboard there. That's the circuit I've put together. We've got a spare LED strip that I've connected to it but I have connected from the supply and also the supply LED screen adjustment it is connected although the screens not on but if we rotate the display now what we can see is we can go off and over bright so um, that's ideal, so it's too bright and off, and that's the control, so that will control the screen. So um, it's looking good. The circuit we've actually got here, it's a little op amp, 741 op amp, and a little TIP transistor. A few diodes, a few more bits. We're going to put that together on a board, better circuit all together, complete control over the display, looking good. Right at the moment I've just put a mirror so I can see. I've got the the rig with its with the front off turned round so we can't see the front. I have just connected the LEDs internal up onto the, the breadboard, which is there. We're gonna see what it looks like and how, what it adjusts like. So let's see power on, turn that on. There we go. So it has come up. Didn't think it wouldn't, but <laughs> You never know. Right, so let's wait for the adjustment. I've left it on the adjustment, so now we can... Perfect, look at that. Right, bright, bright, and we go to nothing. So that's, that's nice. And I've got adjustment on, on the board itself, so we can set that. We can set the adjustment on the board here, presets, which we can align the maximum and minimum up. It's a bit it's a bit temperamental because the boards all lead to just hang and loose. But there, it's all working. So um and that's with the brightness control. Good. So we need to make a board and get it all put in. Okay, again the circuit, you'll see that I've put it together on VeraBoard, that's one side. And I'll give you a printout of these 
of this actual board if you want to put on Vera board I've got no means here to design a or to to um to make a PCB without uh, getting involved I don't want to get too involved where this mounts is on mine if you can see I've fitted a piece of copper wire heavy duty wire just soldered on the ground and lug there and where that's going to go if, the, if I don't drop it first use the use my left hand so change hands okay that's going to sit on mine in there like that there is a, a ground screw which will ground that out there let's go in there there's not a lot of places to fit a circuit in this so um the actual metal work is very close to this so there's not a lot of room at all but that fits in there and that's probably about inch and a half inch and three quarters by about inch inch and a quarter so I'll give you all the files for that and we'll progress I'll show you a little bit more once we've got it in and how it works it's it's not a lot of room there I have put a ground wire just ground on the case although it works without ground wire because it picks up from the actual earth the bracket I've put in but it's best to have the earth wire so it's all in all connected up and I'll show you in a minute how um, just how it works it works very well in fact well it's now back together so we'll switch it on and see what we've got I have set it up so now it's looks pretty good it looks bright on screen but it's um, a lot of glare there we go I've got it set so um, here we go it's all right up so we can go right up and down now that's the LCD adjustment um, I can I can see that it's it looks good about there say about 75 looks very nice the camera's not showing me exactly but you can see from that now that I can go down I can lose the screen completely and I can bring it right up to 100% there's it's glaring a bit it's nice and bright too bright to use but I can bring that up even more this adjustment in there but I don't want to go and overdrive the LEDs they don't need to be overdriven I mean 75% there looks very good so we'll leave it there put all the cases back on just a quick look at the circuit you see me put together this is what it is it's um, a 741 op amp a BD241C NPN transistor any NPN transistor with those specs similar will work it doesn't have to be that one we've got the brightness adjust for the board set up about there 14 volts in ground and the the dim adjust which comes from the transceiver which is between 2 to 3.5 adjust that's the voltage coming from the transceiver the ideal way to set this up how I done mine I set this preset about halfway and I tested this first before I put it in the rig I sat it down I put 13.8 volts or 12 or something around there on there on the 14 volt rail I put a bulb or I put an LED strip but anything on here bulb a small LED or anything it doesn't really matter anything where you can check what's happening and then you'll find by putting say 3 volt somewhere between 2 and 3.5 on this ground and this point here this will come on it may not come on but with this adjustment we'll either bring this on or take it off so at that point you should be able to move this preset one way or the other and get this to come on so set that where it's midway somewhere but at least you know it works that's all you need to know at that point once that happens okay or if you vary this voltage again by taking this off bringing it up up and down between two and five say 
you should see this brightness also go up and down. That's the point you know it works. So then you can fit it in, connect this all up. And the best way, the way I did mine, I connected it in. I, the screen didn't come on. So then I moved this part one way and suddenly I see on the screen, there it was. I then went to the LED settings on the menu, on the rig. I moved that LED setting to 75. I then moved this preset till the screen looked about where I would want to use it. Then I did a check, rotated the wheel or the dial for the brightness and it went up and down fine. So at that point, where you can set this where you want, but I wanted mine to be about 75% on the dial and the viewing brightness was where I would use it. That way I can go brighter if I want or I can go to nothing, turn the dial completely darkness. But I had a, a viewing preset of 75% on the LED setting. That's all I needed to do and I was happy and that all works fine. The next thing is, that's the Vera board. I built mine on Vera board. You can build it on whatever you want. It doesn't have to be Vera board. Just that it seems so straightforward, such a small circuit. You saw what I'd done. But I'll put both the circuit and these in the, spec in the description on, on just below the video. So if you want to make that so straightforward, but you can do it however you wish. You can fit it in there however you wish. But it will, it will sort of work fine the way I've done it like this. Okay, let's move on. Right, I'm just doing a final, just so you can see. It's final, all put together. Bars on. There we go. I'm just using my phone camera. It seems, for some reason, a better, well, it probably is a better picture. But, um, there we go. That's, um, well, see what it is. Now, take the volume down. Don't want the volume. Let's just go into the display. Um, right, we're on display A. I'll do it this way. So, um, here we go. Down to nothing. That there is actually too bright. You wouldn't want to leave it there. It's just, it whitens the screen a bit. Or it, the blacks are gone. We come right down to about there. And it, it's looking good here from where I am. And I've noted on the screen, I mean, that's 70%. So I'd say 70% or 75 there. I would say there, 70% looks very good. Keep this phone. Sorry if I'm moving the phone about a bit. Okay, now let's just go. Let's go 75. That's good. I'll go. I don't want that, do I? I want that one. And we'll look at the display type. So, display type A, B. Now, that's um, it's nice. It's yellow actually, but the again the phone doesn't show yellow. It's a greeny sort of display. Um, the white one. I'm only showing you these just so you can get an overall idea. That's bluey writing. That's all blue, the screen's all blue. Another blue, it's quite bright. The, the, the rig is bright, the, the camera doesn't do justice. And that's the final one, which is H. So yeah, it's good. Well, I don't know on that, if, if I adjust the brightness while it's there, what difference that make? Yeah, you see now on the phone there, that looks more realistic, I mean, there you go, see this idea we can go, so you can see on that H, what it's like a bit better, let's just go, let's go back up to 70, what did I say, 75, 75, yeah, now let's go, display type, myself, I prefer that one, they change the font, I like that one, Display on. There we go. Working well. If, if there's anything you need to know that I haven't said, I can't think of anything. Um, just leave 
leave a message and I'll get back to that I can't think of anything I've forgotten um, you can somebody did suggest in the comments connecting it to the brightness for the actual screen the dial brightness um, line and that is available it's, it's it's a lot easier to get to if you're a bit worried about getting to that circuit it might be easier to connect onto that so the brightness will go up and down with the brightness of the the dial as well so they all go as one and there's no reason you can't connect to that and it's a lot easier to get to so if you're a bit worried about connecting where I did there's an easier way of doing it onto the other connection either way we'll work now so um, there we go okay thanks for all that